Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm going to show you guys how to make these amazing paleo chocolate cupcakes. I'm even going to show you guys how to make the frosting and this episode is dedicated to a Instagrammer that I follow called Rugrats in Paris. I'll leave the link for her Instagram in the description down below. And she does amazing photography and fashion shoots and all that kind of stuff and she's really, really creative and I love her YouTube videos, looking at her Instagram photos. So I'm gonna dedicate this to her and this is my recipe for you, Gray. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients so we can get started. Now over here I've got some eggs, I've got cocoa, some coconut cream, organic raw honey, we've got some coconut milk, coconut flour, some baking soda and some sugar free uh, paleo chocolate. I don't even know how they make these but they're like natural, I don't know. But you'll find this kind of stuff in your health food store or in the health food section of your supermarket. So to get started, it's so, so easy. So the first thing you're gonna to do to get started is you're going to make a date paste. Now to make a date paste, it's really, really easy. Grab some dried dates, make sure they don't have pip, pips in them because you don't want people choking on anything or you know breaking their teeth. So just split them open, just check. And what you're gonna do, pop them in a bowl Put a little bit of water in that bowl, pop them in the microwave for two minutes, then they're ready for you to put into a food processor or mush them up by hand or whatever. Get them to a paste. Uh, they can be a little bit chunky if you like. You have a little bit of chunks of dates in your cupcakes, uh, but that's pretty much all you need. And now this recipe doesn't actually have sugar in it. So the reason why I've decided to make this for Grey is because all of these ingredients are really, really different and they're all natural and uh, and that's kind of what Gray's art and direction and creativity is like. Gray's uh, photos on Instagram, I really, really enjoy looking at those because they're really, really different and they're so creative and they inspire me every time I see them. She just has this really particular style. So I thought I'd make something different instead of just making a normal cupcake recipe. I'm gonna show you guys how to make one that's a little bit different, just like Gray. So, Pop your date paste, coconut flour, cocoa, baking soda, coconut milk, eggs. Now you can do this by hand or you can use an electric hand mixer, it's up to you. So you want to start it off on slow and then once you can see everything is kind of coming together, put it up on high, mix it really well for about 30 seconds so you can aerate those eggs and get everything mixed in until it's nice and fluffy. Now, I forgot to mention, I've put my oven to preheat on 180 degrees just before I made the batter. So you wanna preheat your oven. Now I've just got some cupcake papers here. I find the easiest way to get your cupcakes nice and even is to use a ice cream scoop. So you just go along the side of the bowl like that, collect the batter, and then just press it into your cupcake papers. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes. Now, they might be done a little bit sooner or they might need a little bit longer, depending on your oven. Just use a toothpick and put it in the center. If it comes out clean with like moist crumbs, then you know that they're done. Okay guys, so the cupcakes came out of the oven. They were in there for about 20 minutes. So I've let them cool down. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really delicious frosting that goes on top. It's very, very simple. So in a bowl, I've got some coconut cream. So to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of raw honey. So we're just gonna give that a quick mix on low. Now it's important with this frosting that you don't over mix it. Otherwise it can start to split. So just adding all of our cocoa in there on low, give it a mix. So I've just got myself a Ziploc bag here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a piping bag. So we're just going to pop our frosting in here. Take out as much of the air as you can. I'm just going to snip the end of this. And we've got our cupcakes here. We're just going to start on the bottom and to finish them off, we're just going to sprinkle some of these chocolate chips. 
and that there is my chocolate paleo cupcakes so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did the recipe will be on the scranline.com all of my social media links will be in the description down below as well i encourage you guys to go and check the instagram page of rugrats in paris and i'll leave her youtube channel link down below as well and i'll see you on the next episode of the scranline